Shanghai patch back and changed everything that matters. They stiffened the suspension, improved the anti-roll bars and widened the transmission tunnel. They took the rear-wheel drive hatchback and changed everything that matters. They stiffened the suspension, improved the anti-roll bars and widened the transmission tunnel. Performance was increased by fitting a 2.2-litre version of the Lotus 911 slant four-cylinder engine, resulting in an impressive 250 brake horsepower, up from a meagre 105 on the original. The Lotus Sunbeam was revealed to the public in 1979 in Geneva to widespread praise in the motoring media. We'll reset and take that section again. They took the rear-wheel drive hatchback and changed everything that matters. They stiffened the suspension, improved the anti-roll bars and widened the transmission tunnel. Performance was increased by fitting a 2.2-litre version of the Lotus 911 slant four-cylinder engine resulting in an impressive 250 brake horsepower, up from a meagre 105 on the original. The Lotus Sunbeam was revealed to the public in 1979 in Geneva to widespread praise in the motoring media. More importantly, the Lotus Sunbeam saw racing success too. In 1980, Henri Toivonen won the 29th Lombard RAC Rally in his Sunbeam. makes you wonder if Lotus should do more conversion. It's a silly question actually. Lotus should do more conversions. In fact, I'll call them right now.
then I get deep in the beat. Think of me, pull me up. Never be so obsolete. They never perform techniques. Become antiques better than something brand.